It all begins much earlier than we had ever perceived. It starts with the notion that it's considered fun to point a weapon at another life. It's all right to point an Uzi at your friend and hear the battery-operated report. It's only a game. It's perfectly normal to dress up like your favorite Desert Storm action figure and kill Japs, Indians, or those damn Saddam Husseins. And as you played, there was cheering as well pats on the back from a proud parent. This is what kids are supposed to do, play. This is where we begin to lose our respect for life. As time passes, a letter comes in the mail. Sign this, son. You're 18 now. These games can be for real. A few years later, another madman needs to be stopped. With Top Gun still fresh in your head, you race on down to the local recruitment office. At last, you've found your purpose, to be all that you can be, to kill all that is inferior. And why is this so easy? Because it's just a game. Nothing's changed. The cheering, the pride, well, now you get paid. More dangerous than those blasted Iraqis, our war toys have already killed us. It's just a game. A game we play at the cost of our reasoning.